Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How Tos, and as you can hear, I'm a little under the weather, but I, I'll get these done anyway. Um, here is uh, I'm starting off the IP Office series as I continue on with the with the Aura series and others, but uh, we're going to show you how to do a quick upgrade. Now, this upgrade is a 5.0 upgrade. Things change in 6.0, and there's a number of ways to make sure you you progress to that 6.0 carefully. Um, along with some feature licensing and things like that, and I'll talk about that later. But I'm just going to show you how to do a simple upgrade uh, from 5.0.24 to 5.0.26. And the way you do this is you first go into File, you go to Advanced, and you go to Upgrade. And in here you're going to see it's blue, and that means it's the, at the current, what's, what's available, and what the version currently is, they match. So how you change this is you need to go change the working directory. So we're going to click on change working directory. You can find the binary directory or the bin files. And you click this three dotted button and it allows you to go search for it. So we're going to scroll down to IP office. We're going to go into bin files. And you can see 5.0.26. I say OK. I say OK here. And then I open up the upgrade again. Advanced. Upgrade. And now it's red, and you can see what's available. What my current version is. Oh, why'd that pop back? Current version is 524, available 26. And if I'm okay with that, I make sure I have validate on. I click on upgrade. I put in my password. I say okay. And it fails. <laughs> Now, if you get that, that means you put in an improper password. Okay, so just make sure you're using the proper password for that. And like I said, the, the upgrade password is usually password. Um, but if there's any issues with that, just contact your business partner or Avaya and they'll help you out. All right. You can see here I have 5.24, my available is 26, and I have validate selected, and I say upgrade. And in here, the default password is password. It's not the password to your admin, okay? So just take that as a note, and if it doesn't work, you can tell, but you can see it's transferring. When it transfers, it transfers pretty quickly to the unit, and what will happen is that it's checking the file, it's making sure everything's good, that's what this validate here is for, that's why you want to do that, okay? Uh, don't ever uncheck that unless you're being directed by Tier 3 Engineer, or someone out of IA, or your paid business partner that's supporting this, because, again, this goes in and does some checks to make sure it's okay. Once it says it's okay, you say yes. You're gonna see the progress bar here. And I am doing this live. I'm really upgrading this thing. And uh, once it goes through this process, it's gonna update all of the components on the system. And in fact, mine's a 406 DS2. And once it's done, you'll see the upgrade was successful. And as you can see, the system has re is starting to reboot, it's going through its reboot process. All the lights on the front have uh, have flashed and shown you that the reboot was good. And once that's done, the status is going to come back and it's going to validate everything that went through the process. And you should get a pop-up message saying the upgrade was successful. You will then see this message pop up from the upgrade wizard saying all selected systems were successfully upgraded. Say that 10 times fast. Click on OK and as you can see here it's going to refresh and show you that you're at now 26, 26 and it's blue. And that's it. You click cancel which should be an OK but I'll just click this little X up here. And there you go. Your system's now upgraded. So, thanks for watching. Um, guys, I obviously am planning on doing a ton of more of these for the IP office. So keep watching, and if there's any questions or comments you need on this system, definitely leave them in the uh, comment section or on my channel. All right, thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.